So you're looking to try wide fit pants or you've already tried it and don't think you look good? Well, that's false. Don't worry, I got you, bro. From relaxed fitting pants to balloon fitting pants, I'm gonna show you the biggest mistakes I personally made when it comes to this sizing. Let's get it. The first mistake is it just might be your heights. You're not accounting for that. So listen, if you're short, it doesn't mean that you can't wear baggy pants, but I do think that it is required that you don't make any of these other mistakes later on in this video. I mean, just think about it. If you put on baggy pants on someone that's five foot six versus someone that's over six foot tall, it's just going to sit on both of their frames differently, right? So always keep that in mind. You can counteract this by wearing some chunky sneakers to add some height, but that's the next mistake is thinking that you can only wear chunky sneakers. If you think about it, I mean, it kind of makes sense you know back in the day if you wore air force ones with some skinny jeans that was not it but that also depends an nba player air force one to them is basically like vans to your average person and baggy pants have a lot of play on like skinny jeans so i think this is kind of a stupid rule to pledge your allegiance to although if you believe this you're probably right a lot of the times but i'm not a clear cut this is a rule you can't do that at all i think that's very limiting and that's kind of bs now up next you just might be missing a tuck so all you gotta do is follow the rule of thirds with fashion sometimes when your body is cut in half by your top and your bottoms it just might not be the vibe that day so if you're feeling like it's not working out just give it a tuck and see if it works out and now we got a major tip that will solve all of your baggy pants issues and that is you are not adding something of a slimming effect to your outfit i think this is something that you need oversized garments have been in and will stay in so you're probably thinking okay i'm wearing baggy pants i should probably wear something that will complement it like a baggy shirt that's not the move it can work sometimes but most of the time you're actually gonna look swallowed up and so a nice fitted shirt, tank top, or even a denim jacket will do your fit justice, I'm telling you. This is going to provide a slim to drape effect that's very pleasing to look at. And if you do want to wear something baggy on top, I just recommend that you wear something slimming underneath it. So this could be in the form of a shirt or a tank top that's very slimming. All you need is little notes of that in your outfits and your whole entire fit is going to look so much better, I promise you. Now, like I said earlier about chunky sneakers, this doesn't mean just your tops as well. The same will go for your footwear. You can rock slimmer sneakers, you just got to test your entire collection. Collection. Some sneakers will work, some sneakers won't work. Otherwise, I will highly recommend a pair of Converse's or some boots. Depending on the Converse model that you get, they are considered more of a slimmer sneaker and they always provide a nice transition from baggy pants to footwear. Now, if you're talking boots, I always recommend something like the Doc Martens Chelsea boots. These boots are considered chunky, but because they are Chelsea boots, well, they got a slimmer top and you can cinch your pants into your boots and it always provides a nice profile on your outfit. Up next is a major mistake and that is not letting your pants lay on your sneaker. I know, I know you want to show off your sneaker, I get it. But trust me, 90% of the time, even if they're covered by your pants, we can tell what sneakers they are. So don't worry about that too much. Some pants just need a nice kick to lay on. Now for me personally, Converse's and Air Force Ones have worked with basically every single wide fitting pants I have. So that's always a good place to start. But even these Oliver Cabell white leather sneakers, very slim sneakers, they work with every single wide pants as well. Like I said earlier, you just got to play around with your sneaker collection. I personally find Jordans look better with slimmer pants pants more so than baggy pants but in some pants they can look good as well now another mistake i see is people forget to cuff their pants or look out for cinch pants or cropped pants it's just another pair of pants to try out if you can't find a pair of pants that sit well on a sneaker now the isimiyaki trousers i wear a ton non-stop and these pants are cropped i wear them much more than my balloon fitting pants i'll tell you that and then you don't want to forget about cinched pants this is just more value for your money because you get another styling option you can still cuff the pants let it lay on the sneaker and you can cinch it and what i love about these pants is it just makes it easier to cinch it into a pair of boots or something like that obviously because they can cinch so yeah more versatility equals more bang for the buck who doesn't love that just like who doesn't love a delicious meal that you didn't have to cook from factor the sponsor of today's video so y'all have seen me work with hellofresh in the past and they now own factor sometimes i like cooking with hellofresh and sometimes i just want quick ready to eat meals right away and especially this may trips to the grocery store prepping cooking and cleaning and all that that takes up a lot of my time that i can use to film contents, to hang out with my dog, hang out with my girl. And that can add up to multiple hours a week. And I even love cooking. And quite often, I don't have enough time because of deadlines or just want to spend time with my loved ones. And so with Factor, you don't got to worry about that. You can skip the cleaning, the prep work, and you can get a fresh, never frozen meal in just two minutes. That's it, right from your fridge. And right now, it's getting a lot warmer. The sun is setting a little bit lower, and I want to enjoy 
the outside. I wanna get some sunlight. So my favorite part about Factor is that they fit many different lifestyles. Whether you're keto, vegan, or looking for lower calorie and higher protein meals, they got you. And they got me covered as well because your boy's cutting right now, trying to get it looking nice for the summertime, you know what I'm saying? All these dishes are prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians and are packed with ingredients to feel satisfied all day long. That way I stay satiated, I can hit my goals, and so could you. And also they got some smoothies that are delicious. 100% plant-based, sweet, refreshing, and perfect for this warmer weather that we got going on right now. It's got good macros and it has a nutrition label so I know exactly what I'm eating. It's flexible, I can skip a week if I want, and it helps me to stick to my goals because I know myself. When I see a high calorie, high sodium, instant noodles staring me right in the face, it's hard to resist. So my fridge stays stacked with factor and I'm all set. No temptations and I know y'all can relate. So if you're looking to free up some more time, hit your fitness goals, definitely check out factor by going to factor75.com or you can click the link in the description and use my discount code Johnny40 for 40% off your first box. Once again, that is factor75.com or you can click the link in the description and use discount code Johnny40 for 40% off your first box. It's honestly been a game changer for my lifestyle, so definitely check them out. And thank you, Factor, for sponsoring this video. Now, the next mistake I've personally made is a lack of color. And this is going to apply to mostly colored pairs of wide-fitting pants. But sometimes when a pair of pants doesn't feel right, I've found, personally, just swapping out the pair of kicks for some colored ones usually solves a problem. I don't really know how to explain it, but if none of these other tips work, give this a shot. It might work out for you. And the last mistake is you're just not comfortable rocking them yet. And no worries, this goes with any new garments, trend, or new style. If you're uncomfortable with it, just like anything new, you will get used to it eventually. So if this is you, just wear it inside your house. Get comfortable with wearing the physical garment, actually throwing it on, walking around a little bit with it. And that's really all it takes. Maybe you can experiment with uh, walking your dog or running some errands, rocking those types of pants. Get a little bit of a feel for it. Because confidence is something you could just sniff off of someone. And if you're uncomfortable with a pair of garments or a style is definitely something that people will notice. So all it takes is some time, get comfortable with it, and you'll be good to go. Now, I got a bonus tip as well. This is something I've personally done, and it's not going baggy enough. You're just dipping your toe, and you're quickly going to find that that's not going to cut it. Sometimes you have to go too far to see where not to go. So if you've been used to tailored skinny jeans, slim fitting jeans, and all that's your whole entire life, you're going to think straight cut is baggy pants. and <laughs> It is not. So you have to at least try relaxed fitting pants to balloon fitting pants. And then you follow all all these other tips and then you can see if you've gone too far or not. Balloon fit pants aren't for everyone. Maybe relax is the furthest you'll go, but you'll find out only if you try. What's up everyone, welcome to the fit. I am in the middle of nowhere as you can see, but uh, let's break down some fits for you. So for our first fit, because it's a bit warmer, we're gonna go with a little bit more lighter colors and be more playful with our colors. So we're gonna rock a full monochromatic blue outfit. So we got this boxy pinstripe shirt. This is actually from a brand called 3.3 Field Trip. It's boxy, it's oversized, and underneath we're rocking a tank top. Just because it's a bit warmer out, we gotta stay cool. And as you can see, I'm not rocking a hat or a beanie this time. The hair's starting to get some flow, starting to look nice. For our pants, we're rocking some Y3 pants. These are very blue. Blue. I'm not used to rocking these type of pants, so this is a good way for me to push myself out of the comfort zone. And then we're rocking some older sneakers. If you guys remember, the power phases was hot. And I really miss these sneakers. You're going to see me wearing them a ton. And so for our next fit, we're going to be rocking some wide fit cropped pants. We're going to play with a juxtaposition of styles. So our top is going to be a more dressy type of look. So we're going to rock a boxy tee, also from 3.3 Field Trip. And the bottoms are these wide fit strap pants. And like I said earlier in the video, you don't always have to rock chunky sneakers. I think Vans is the great paired with these pants. Contrary to popular belief that you always have to rock Air Force Ones and stuff like that. Yeah, what I really like about this fit is you don't normally see a dressier type of shirt. This one is boxy, of course, so it's more casual. You don't really see it with wide fit pants. You're typically going to see it with more trousers, slim fitting clothes, a more formal look. This is very casual. And then we're rocking a two-tone cap, also a sample for a choice made. Stay tuned for that. And this one is a brown and cream two-tone. We're not going to be doing this one for our summer collection, potentially for the fall collection. Let me know what you guys think. And then, of course, we've got accessories to complete the fits, and this is a super casual look. Kind of my style right now. Now, really enjoying these boxier button ups and then how about we talk about this fit so we're rocking full a choice made you know with the hat and then our hoodie from our last drop our hats right now are at the embroiderer so i can't show you guys the design just yet but just know this hat is dope we're making the best two-tone caps out there and then because i'm in chi town right now so, well this ain't chi town we're in the farmlands but it's really cold out here i don't know how y'all live out here but we got to rock the choice made hoodie layered underneath the alpha industries bomber jackets and then we're rocking some cargo pants from fried rice nyc they got to be wide fit of course because of this video 
and then the bomber actually somewhat cinches in a little bit so we kind of get a hourglass type shape you know look a little snatched and then we're rocking the power phases again i'm really loving these sneakers man i'm telling you guys and what i love about these cargo pants is these came with straps so actually i tied them as a belt so they kind of look like a sash when i'm walking if you guys have cargo pants i'd i try and find a way to add a little bit a flow to your pants. I've seen other people do a silk scarf or a bandana in the back. You can use an extended belt as well. And then for our last fit, we're rocking some wide fit HD cargos from Needles. I mean, you see them online, but you don't see them that much out on the streets. These are the balloon fitting pants. These are super wide fit. Yeah, I am gonna rock them with chunky sneakers. They do also look good with slim sneakers as well. But this time we're rocking some chunky sneakers. These are Converse's in collaboration with the cold wall. For this fit, I took my dog to the park. We're just chilling, chilling with the Soka. And then like I said earlier in the video, you want a slimming effect. So I could have gone with a baggier denim jacket but it just doesn't look as good as this slim denim jacket from fried rice nyc this denim jacket has a nice rust orange colorway we're rocking a two-tone cap from devon on deck check out that brand shout out to the homie devon i paired it with some matsuda frames that are a complementary color to navy which is a brown color dope location chilling with my dog what better way to live life so there we have it you now know the biggest mistakes i've personally made and now you're going to look great in baggy pants if you found this video helpful with styling your baggy pants give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and until then stay fly check out our sponsor factor deuces